गुड मॉर्निंग वी आर फॉर्म एस वी एस एम्बेडेड द प्रोजेक्ट टाइटल नेम इज कॉल्ड ए वेब बेस्ड एक्सीडेंट रिपोर्टिंग एंड ट्रैकिंग सिस्टम सो दिस इज माई वेबसाइट एच डी टी पी माई एम्बेडेड प्रोजेक्ट डॉट कॉम स्लैश एस एस बी टी सो दिस इज द एक्सीडेंट एरिया वेर द एक्सीडेंट एरिया सो सेफ्टी एंड सिक्योरिटी ऑफ द वेहकिल सो माई एम्बेडेड प्रोजेक्ट स्लैश एस एस बी टी शो अंडर स्कोर डाटा सो वी आर गेटिंग द डाटा फ्रॉम दि सैटेलाइट एंड दिस इज द लैटिट्यूड एंड लैंग्विट्यूड पैंट एंड विच डेट सो द डेट टूडे इज द Twenty four three two thousand sixteen. So I can enlarge. Uh, so we will go for our website. Our website, my embedded data. You can observe twenty four three two thousand sixteen. Twenty four three two thousand sixteen. Okay. So after that, so this is my block diagram. Eighty eight nine S fifty two microcontroller. You can use any microcontroller. It's not a problem. Sixteen cross two LCD display. And one power supply section, and one M MEM sensor, M E M S sensor, micro electro mechanical sensor, so accelerometer, M M A seven three six one or A D X L double three five. You can use any of them. Three axis accelerometer sensor, so it is connected to the M C P three two zero eight A D C, analog to digital converter, so it is given to the microcontroller. So here we are using an one Max two thirty two I C. And one GSM SIM 900. Here I am enabling the internet HTTP protocol. And this is the GPS and one engine and alarm. So small engine and a small buzzer. So this is bridge rectifier, filter capacitor, and 7805 regulator. So in the, in this in my code I am I am I am taking the SSBT. So my embedded projects SSBT put underscore data dot PHP. <coughs> This is my entire code, which comes under design and implementation of web-based vehicle tracking system. So we will see the output. Uh, so my embedded, my embedded SSBT. <coughs> It will show you like this. Where last point should be dropped. So here, first of all, we are going for a hardware. So this is an uh, 230 input step down transformer, 9 volts output AC with 500 milliamps current. It is a center tap out transformer, and it is giving to the macro uh, bridge rectifier, filter capacitor, 7805 regulator, and power supply. So this is 889 S52 microcontroller. It's an 8 bit microcontroller, port 0, port 1, port 2, port 3. Total four ports. Each port consists of 88 pin. Total 32 input output bidirectional. And port 0 it is connected to the 16 cross 2 LCD display, character LCD display. And port 1 cap 3 and 1 cap 4 it is connected to the uh, 1 cap 4 it is connected to the alarm. And 1 cap 3 it is connected to the buzzer. And we are using a ninth pin is reset pin. Something should be happened. We need to restart it. And this is 11.05 into mega edge crystal. It is connected to the 18th and 19th pin of the microcontroller. It is the halt of the circuit for the controller to generate the clock pulses to the internal CPU and to run the program. And this is an MCP 3208 ADC, and this is an ADXL 335 MEMS accelerometer sensor, and it is connected to the channel one X coordinate and Y coordinate, and it is given to the P2 cap 4567 of the Microcontroller port pins, and this is an eight-channel ADC uh, analog to digital converter. We can connect eight ADCs individually. That depends upon your requirement. And we are using a web-based vehicle tracking. Na? So here we are using a one MEMS and uh, sorry, this is a one GPS model, Rasta 634 or 65 channel GPS model. This is the signal that coming from the satellite. Must and should we have? That LED should be on and off. Data is coming from the satellite. So this is bridge rectifier, filter capacitor, 7805 regulator, and power supply. So this is a GPS model, 65 channel, 9600 bits per second. 
so this is receiving the data and this is sending the data and this is in sim 900 sim 900 so this is a 2g modem in work works under 9600 9600 bits per second so it is 850 mega to 1800 mega -h frequency and i am giving in tata docomo idea sim card so first of all i am going to give the power supply to this board implementation of web based vehicle tracking system accident alert system after two seconds it will sending the data to mm, sending the settings called 80 80 plus cmg of 80 plus cmg or 80 plus cmgs and it will send one sms to the owner mobile called uh, gsm test to ok okay now gsm test to ok so it is showing the x coordinate value and y coordinate value okay after any accident occurred let us this so this is the front accident i am taking five cons which is the five cons are continuous coming it will send the data to the owner mobile number suppose left accident It will take four exact cons if the left accident is active accurate or not if it is the leg left accident it will take the latitude point longitude front front from the satellite latitude and longitude and it will enabling the gprs settings so it is sending the in data to the gprs so once the gprs is sending it will start gprs first of all we will receive one sms the accident is occurred left accident left accident vehicle number 7842 latitude point longitude point http starts taking the latitude and longitude from the satellite and it will send the data to the web server so we can see the show underscore data dot php so refresh okay packet not came gpr is closed so gpr is closed again it will take the continuous loop okay so last one now i am going for a back accident front accident right accident front accident back accident back accident GPR start HTTP start Latitude longitude from the satellite
and it will send the GPRS send and the GPRS close. <coughs> the packet is sent to the server and GPRS closed. Okay, so I'll show the diagram also. Uh, actually this is the uh, main reference paper so and so and so person so actually vehicle is going from so vehicle is vehicle is uh, damaged it will take the data from satellite and it, it should be connected to the internet and it is sending the sms to the particular mobile number and it will send the data to the administrator so it will send another two messages called hospital and so and so yeah thanking you if there is any doubt let me know to SVS embedded